In this Fish for Fun video, my good buddy Pat and I fish the very upper reaches of an arm of Palm de Terre Lake. It's almost like river fishing. It's 9.30 now and we don't know how long we're going to get to fish. There's supposed to be a lot of wind and the rain is projected to arrive at approximately 2 o'clock. It's taken us a while, but we've found a pretty good sized school of fish. Good, good. Maybe. Go grow up. Now we got them, Pat. Got one. Pink. Huh? I ran over a stick. I got I got another white bass. Yeah. See if I can get back on that. When I first hit it, I should have hit the spot lock. Uh, Pat, open that drawer, and there's a little tiny, little tiny. That's up in this end. Okay. Yeah. It'll be kind of dirt colored, probably. One of the yeah, one of those right that one of those right there. Double ball. Yeah. I make those, and they're small. And other people don't see them. Tell me when to throw it out. Because I, I can, if we can throw it out right as, as if I first see it back there over that motor, because we're not pinpointing. We're finding them, but we're not pinpointing them very good. And I know when I turned around to come up there to try to find it, that's what, you caught that fish right out of that. Okay, throw it. Throw it. That's it. It's just one vertical tree. See it sticking up there? Mm -hmm. it's, it's just one vertical stack of fish. That thing, sh yeah, that's it. All right, now, I don't know which way the wind's going to be. And I don't think we want to try to get right on top of that. Maybe out the side of it a little. Okay, I put the spot lock right here. And that thing is right there. It ought to be when the boat swings around. It should be right by the side of it. Okay, now it was Pat. It should be right in about here because it was it was well shown up on the graph when I when we dropped it. got that in after it was on the screen so it ought to be right in here somewhere just up from that marker six or eight feet well it's holding this right in here where we should be hey that's a pretty decent one nice little bass
that it just wouldn't hold in that wind for some reason. I found those fish right there and I, I started to tell you, Pat, you ought to catch one here and about that time you did. And now then I'm not, I think I'm too far left. I'm, I'm marking fish, but I'm, I'm not able to hold on them for some reason. My spot lock seems to be working all right. I can't find the fish again now. Somewhere right around here where I get no, those two. It was a little further up that way, but I don't know how far out it was. It was a good school of fish there. There they are, right there. Right, is it right about where you are. There's that little school of it's a small school of fish, but we caught two fish out of it. I have got an old friend, an old carpenter I worked with. It might be a school of whites that we're looking at. You know what? You know what it is. Think ought to weigh him or what? Yeah. But we're catching fish and that's what we're out here for, isn't it? Well boy, that thing was lethargic, wasn't he? Yeah. Careful. He didn't even try to fight. Careful. Hit the top one, didn't he? Yeah, and hit the curly tail. White. White's just the color for white bass, isn't it? better one there than I've been in the kitchen. Well it's ten minutes after two and the rain was supposed to arrive at two o'clock and it's starting to sprinkle now. The weather is looking rather threatening so we're getting out of here. Well, we caught a lot of fish, and I didn't film very many of them because I was having so much problem controlling the boat. They were all small, but we didn't care. We just liked to catch them. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us.